we're asked to identify which graph is f of x, f prime of x or the first derivative, and f double prime of x or the second derivative. Let's begin with the review. If f prime of x is greater than zero, f of x is increasing. If f prime of x is less than zero, f of x is decreasing. f prime of x is equal to the slope of the tangent line to f of x. If f double prime of x is greater than zero, f of x is concave up. If f double prime of x is less than zero, f of x is concave down. And we can also say f double prime of x equals the slope of the tangent line to f prime of x. Let's begin by analyzing the behavior of the functions. Notice function a always has positive function values and function a is always decreasing. Function c always has a negative function values and is always increasing. And now looking at function b, function b has negative function values when x is less than one and positive function values when x is greater than one and function b is always increasing. Notice function b is the only function that has both positive and negative function values and therefore it cannot be a derivative for function a or function c. Again, because function a is always decreasing, the first derivative must always be negative and for function c, the function is always increasing and therefore the first derivative must always be positive and therefore function b must be the original function f of x. And now from here, because function b is always increasing, or because the slopes of the tangent lines are always positive, function a must be f prime of x. Again, function a, because function a only has positive function values. Just to verify this, let's sketch the tangent line to f of x at x equals one, which should be this point here. If we sketch the tangent line, we can see the slope of the tangent line is positive one, which is the function value given by f prime of x, or graph a. Next, notice that function b is always concave down, which means the second derivative, or f double prime of x, will always be negative, which is why the second derivative is function c. Another way to verify the second derivative function would be to sketch a tangent line to the graph of f prime of x, which we know is function a. Let's do that at x equals one, which would be this point here. Again, this is f prime of x. Notice the slope of the tangent line to f prime of x at x equals one is negative one, which is the function value given by the second derivative at x equals one. I hope you found this helpful.